up for this next point on the second half. We have 18 minutes left. It turns out that Central had stepped out of bounds, calling this a forfeit for them. Now we saw at this point, looks like Central grabbed most of the balls on that rush there. Yeah, but they threw about two of them. And boom goes the dynamite from Chris Robinson with an excellent tag on the chest on player number 15, Cameron Milbrook. Something like that. Mil Milbrook? Cameron, number Cameron. 15. Can yet again in their comfort zone, hanging out in the neutral area. Central is up on the back line. Back on the back line, I guess. Whatever way you look at it. Very brave of number four, Brett Hadwin, playing by himself with nobody around him with the ball. Wearing some very bright shoes for us tonight. <laughs> some neon Nikes. Ten, eleven, He's styling out there. Thirteen, fourteen. It came to Fulmer for cross court tag. Number eleven, Michael Riley making a catch, however. Bringing in one of their players just as they lose one. And Shot clock violation. Ball's going over to Kent State. I hope you're all doing good this evening. Enjoying a fine cup of tea, listening to this fantastic commentary, commentation, coming. Something like that. Listen to us commentate Talking that. Talking about dodgeball. And we're back off. Back we go, Josh Sayer rolling a ball over for Central Michigan. Very considerate move on his behalf. I think he thought that Brett Hadwin threw a ball and should have avoided the shot clock violation, but it did not get seen and one was called anyway. And Josh Sayer ends up tagging Brett Hardwin. Hadwin. Sorry, Brett. And that was rookie Jacob Lesky making a catch on Dan Shackelford, captain of Penn State. Their rookies are just. They're showing a lot of strength. Well. It's very, very impressive. They always breed them strong here, Central. It's something in their water. I'm sure next year they'll grow another three inches and gain another 50 pounds. Start picking up players from all the teams. Billy Cameron being an antagonist on the court. Usual trade for him. Sam Sekarechia just getting tagged there. Kent State pushing up to make a throw as their shot clock is getting low. Ryan Hinman, 10 6 on Kent State, just missing the tag. 15 minutes! 15 minutes! Not sure who threw that one. Did you catch that? I think number. 14, Jason Aldandi then made the throw. Camden Fulmer with a throw into the ground. He gets those every now and again. Question, but uh, we have Townsend and Wisconsin Platteville playing on the court next to us. Platteville was down to one player. He dodged several balls, made a catch, and tagged one of their players out on Townsend. But it was just really interesting to see in the background. Just made another tag by Central Central Michigan. Made another tag. Kent State's Billy Cameron telling his team to hold the ball. That is an ongoing problem for Kent State, is just 
working on ball control, but it seems like they're trying to figure it out for Nationals this year. Wes Peters blocking for two of his players that had just thrown. And another catch for Central Michigan, and sadly that doesn't bring a player back in because they have all their players on the court. Whoa! And Candace Fulmer was just faced by, I believe, Wesley Peters. An attempted team catch by John D ends up landing him out of the game as somebody else from Central Michigan tagged him. James Paltani hitting number four. Brett Hadman, right in the toes. He's a freshman this year and shows so much promise and potential. Kent State is down to six players on the court. Losing one more will bring them down to a 10 second shot clock. And Central has only had, has their nine players. I think this is the first time Central Michigan has had the player of Amos on the court. Number three, Tyler Franks, tagging Colin Boyce at double zero Penn State. He made that throw as the shot clock violation was just about up. And another shot clock violation on Central Michigan. Falls over to Penn State. The team now down to a 10 second shot clock with five players left. And it is very loud in here, and I think there has to be some trouble between Central Michigan and Beale when they hear the shot clock violation. Felix informs, 12 minutes, 10 seconds left in the match. Get ready! Get ready. Felix looking dapper in his pinstripes this evening. Like a gentleman. Five, six, seven. Tagged by Kent State player. I'm not sure. I think it was Chris Rogerson. Also known as Batman. That's his night job. Let's just say they've never seen Chris and Batman in the same room at the same time. I know I haven't. Five, six, seven, eight. Some good team throws, but... James Paltani making a fantastic catch, dropping for it. Always nice to see. Pulled it in right near the groin section. Hopefully he got it right in time. Catch me by James brings in Bert DePero, transfer student, came from Ohio State to Kent State this semester. Sorry, Ohio State. But thank you for the fantastic player for Kent State, I'm sure. They appreciate it. Seems to be a little tension on the court. I'm not sure what the situation is here, but. It's national, Layla. There's always going to be tension. Teams want to win. They're going to do anything they can to do it. Two Kent State players. Not sure who made the throws, but both picked off number 10 on Central Michigan. Spencer Short, rookie this year. And a parent tag by a Central Michigan player does not count. Apparently hit a ball. To me, it looked like a kill, but... We're not roughing it, so we can't call it. Ten minutes left in this... Oh. And James 
Padwin from Kent State needs to keep his eye open on the court. Central Michigan player almost picked him off because he was looking away and not paying attention. One of the top five rules to me is to never get tunnel vision on that court. It can be fatal. Central loses Jacob Lacey on the court. Kent State loses James Paltani on the court. We are down to 10 second shot blocks on both teams right now. Mitch Malio. Malio the and then a tag from Josh Sayer on Brett Hadwin. Got the name right that time, Brett. They do it for you guys. Dan Shackleford just came back in on that last catch from Kent State. We are now down to two players, Kevin Grieg and Wes Peters from Central Michigan right now. Staying very alert on the court right now. Kevin Grieg just misses a catch. The tag by Brett DePero, number seven for Kent State. DePero, I'm pretty sure. Pronounced with an E, I guess. Something like that. It's a name. I'm not a mathematician. And the ball's over again by Central Michigan. They only have one player on the court. I think the pretty ball sure was just. They had no balls. In play at that point, really, anyway. I think, well, yeah, the one was uh, kind of floating on the other side of the court. Wesley Peters really couldn't make a play for the ball. Would have been a suicide mission. We're down to Wes Peters being the final player on Central Michigan. Let's see if he makes the same comeback that he did in that first point. Get ready! Kent goes up for the team throw. And they tag Wesley Peters on the tag. That's another point wrapped up in the second half. Kent State up 3-0.